President-elect Bola Tinobu has now asked the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal to strike out the list of witnesses and documents in the petition filed by the People's Democratic Party. He also prayed for the court to dismiss PDP's petition in its entirety for lacking in jurisdiction and merit. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Iria reports. Tight security is maintained at the presidential election petitions court as security personnel screens persons coming into the court premises. Beefing up the security at the court became necessary after an altercation that broke out between factions of the Labour Party on 17th May. Today, the court continued pre-hearing session of the petition filed by the PDP and the Labour Party. At the pre-hearing session, Councillor to INEC informed the court that they have filed two applications seeking to strike out 32 paragraphs of the PDP's petition and the PDP's response to the application. Counsel to the President-elect in his submission noted that the PDP's petition is grossly incompetent. The All Progressives Congress on its part has prayed the court to dismiss the petition of the PDP. The court subsequently adjourned to 22nd May for further hearing. The INEC should have been neutral as far as those issues are concerned and restrict itself to the defense of the election it conducted, which it claims that it conducted in a free and fair manner. INEC cannot assume the shoes of a co-contestant as if it contested the election and is now fighting a prosy war like my Nene brothers has put it. While the petition of Labour Party was called, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, made representation for himself and his political party at the resumption of the pre-hearing session of the petition filed by his political party. Obamadu Abuchi, senior advocate of Nigeria, tried making a legal representation for the Labour Party. The chairman of the panel told him that he did not file the petition and as such, cannot represent the party. He was asked to either sit and observe the proceedings or take his leave. The proceedings continued with Kansi on record for Labour Party telling the court that they had filed an application seeking for live streaming of the court proceedings. Counsel to INEC, APC and the President-elect has filed their responses in objection to the application. All Nigerians want to know and to follow and to understand what happens in court every single day. So that application has been moved, it's been responded to by all the respondents, and um, the court has adjourned it for ruling on Monday. The court has adjourned to Saturday for further prayer on rare modalities of how the trial will proceed and the petitions will be taken. Also, list of witnesses sought to be called by the petition and the respondents will be made known to court as well as document the sought to tender. The court will also allocate time for examination and cross-examination of witnesses. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.